Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Metro and I'm really excited about this particular video because it means I get to eat my favorite meal of the day, breakfast. And I get to do it seven times. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. But I think I like breakfast because I like sweet things and I feel like breakfast is like a socially accepted time to eat a lot of sweet things as a meal. Even though, side note, we are all adults, folks, so we can have maple syrup any time of day if we want to. Am I right? Before we get into it, I want to talk about my sponsor, Metro, and their new My Health, My Choices program. Now, I know that it's New Year, New You season, but instead of the standard juice cleanses and detoxes that we see advertised a lot this time of year, I really want to encourage you to focus on tools that will help to promote moderate, sustainable lifestyle changes. It starts in the grocery store by making more nutrient-dense choices, and Metro's new My Health, My Choices program makes it easier than ever to find what your family needs. So the My Health, My Choices program is a simple shopping guide that helps consumers make the right choices for them based on their lifestyle, dietary restrictions, or nutritional goals. So Metro has actually worked with credible experts to curate over 40 different dietary attributes across thousands of products and made it really easy to find and shop for them in store, on their app and online. I really think that for a lot of people, grocery shopping with all of the competing claims and trends can be really overwhelming. I mean, we can't all have a dietitian shopping with us and guiding our purchasing decisions in store or online. But this is literally the next best thing in my opinion. So I'm really excited to see this program take off. So next time you grocery shop, choose Metro to ensure your shop is seamless and meets your nutritional needs. All right. Let's talk breakfast. So I was inspired to make this particular video by Linda Sun's taste testing people's protein pancake recipes. I thought that was a really fun video to watch and I thought I would take all of your suggestions and try out your favorite influencers go to breakfast recipes. You know, the ones that they make like again and again and again and somehow seem to never get sick of. So I'm gonna do a full week, seven days of their go-to breakfast, and I'm gonna eat them all in one go, and I'm gonna let you know how I feel about them, ranking them on nutrition, flavor, and presentation. This is basically my way of living out my own lifelong dream of being a judge on a Food Network cooking show. So yeah, Food Network, if you're watching this, you know where to find me. All right, lovelies. Let's brunch. Day one, first breakfast. We're gonna do Emma Chamberlain's avocado toast. Now it's time to start making breakfast. We're gonna be making avocado toast because it's the only thing I know how to cook, which is unfortunate. And this is one that you guys recommended a lot and I can see why because I really, really love Emma. Okay, so I'm gonna basically just like follow along with her making this. And it starts of course with the avocado. And I've got so many here because I'm not quite sure which one's gonna be Perfect. This is, check at the beauty. All right, so that looks good. I gotta get a bowl here. So, we don't need the pit. She is smashing it up. Classic avocado toast move. So lots of smashing. Nothing's been added quite yet. I feel like that's good. Okay, salt, salty salt, lemon juice, and then she's got garlic powder and onion powder. Not sure how I feel about that. I don't love garlic powder and lemon powder. It just always feels a little meh. Oh, chili flakes. Mmm, do I have chili flakes? Missed that. All right. She took a sip of her coffee, so gotta work that in. Of course, make it very authentic. Crusty sourdough. Mm -mm -mm. Now she said she toasted it in the oven. I'm gonna have time for that, but I'm gonna do it authentic, keeping it real. You know when you're a mom, when you literally just eat the crumbs because it means less of a mess to clean up. I resorted to just putting it on broil because 
I don't want to wait any longer, but I also know that that is dangerous because one second too long on broil, y'all know what happens. Okay, so I think this is what we're going with because I don't want it to get burnt and this is feeling nice and crusty on the outside, but still pillowy on the inside. And that is how I like it. So let's see what else she's doing now. This makes sense. This is a large piece of bread. Oh, I do have seven breakfasts to get through, so wish me luck. Little drizzy drizz. Woohoo! Now we're having fun. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Yes, ma'am. And then the hot sauce. Just a touch. Just a touch. This is breakfast. So I'm going to give this a solid. Eight out of 10 on the presentation. Nutrition, loving it. We've got lots of healthy fats, some from the oil and the avocado. Uh, we've got some nice crusty sourdough bread in here for our carbs. We could boost up the protein if we wanted to, if you wanna throw an egg on there, I know sometimes that she does. Or of course you could also do what I do. I've got a recipe where I puree in some white beans and that's a really great hack too all the time, I love that. But anyways, let's give this a taste trying to get all the things on. This one's gonna be a hot contender. Next. All right, day two is Greg Doucette's anabolic French toast. And today we're making anabolic French toast. This one starts with egg whites, which I've just put into a bowl here. I'm following along with, with Greg as he does it. He uses some non-calorie sweetener, vanilla. He's got very specific measurements and I'm definitely not measuring, but a quarter of a teaspoon is what his recipe says. Two shakes of cinnamon and then the bread. All right, so we've just got good old fashioned white bread. He also sometimes he says he uses like a protein bread or white bread, but I got white bread. Who doesn't love some good old sandwich bread? So I'm gonna, he soaks them. He like, I mean, really, Get some going, saturates. Ooh, it's like falling apart. Maybe it's just the, the protein bread that he soaks. We might have to try this a few times. He calls it regular ass bread, which is what I'm using. But this is completely falling apart, as you can see. So that one didn't work. Let's. Okay, dip, dip. That's quick, quick, quick. Into the pan. We'll do two, maybe more, depending how these turn out. Dip, dip, dip. Let's do one more. Soak her up, soak up the, it's a very good idea. I mean, there's lots of protein here. Mistakes. Mistakes have been made. Oh, he's like soaking her in there. I wanna make sure Greg is proud of me. All right, these are cooking. They look pretty good. They look really good. Nice. 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 This mama. Yeah. Lucky, lucky. I'm excited. Mmm. Let's start plating these bad boys. Nice. This one's this one's the prettiest. So I'm gonna make sure Greg's hero shot looks. She looks good. Okay guys, I totally deserve brownie points for um, authenticity here uh, because I went out and bought Walden Farms no calorie pancake syrup, which is basically what all of these guys use. So I figured we had to make it super legit. It doesn't run the same way that a good maple does, but we're gonna work with it. So, all right, now the moment of truth. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10 for presentation. I mean, I'm excited about any kind of French toast, to be quite honest, any kind of carb. Um, so I'm, I, I am genuinely excited and I was surprised. I think that the cinnamon does help give it the browning look, which is what I was worried that we'd be missing out on without having like lots of butter and egg yolks in the mix. So that's good. Nutrition, 
not bad. I mean, white bread, we could add some whole grains in there and, and do like a nice crusty whole grain bread or the sourdough bread would be a really great choice. But I get why Greg goes for the, the, the basic white bread. Um, it's a great source of carbs. And if that's what you're needing after like a workout for recovery, great. And then of course, lots of protein in here as well. Now, if I was gonna make this, I'd throw some nut butter on top just to add some, some, some healthy fats. But again, I get why Greg doesn't. It's not on his plan. He's looking to you know, get as much protein as possible and, uh, and balance it out with those carbs. So totally, totally get it for his goals. And then taste, we gotta taste it. So, I'm not sure that this kind of bread is made for a French toast. Tastes like soggy, wet, bread and I mean I got browning but it just basic sandwich bread is not meant for French toast sorry just not just not okay let's put that aside because I'm still hungry and there are more breakfast recipes to make okay next we're gonna do Stephanie Buttermore's cake pop oatmeal so this is gonna come to no surprise to you that I still have cake pop protein oatmeal every day which I've seen her make a million times and you guys probably have too. So I'm excited to try this. And I went all out and I went and I found it, the cake pop protein powder. Cause I wanted to make sure that this was super authentic for our girl, Stephanie. So I've cooked the oats, which is kind of like how I seen her do it. And then we're gonna add in the protein powder, a full scoop. And she always is like, I can just hear her in my head. She's like, your girl likes it thick thick. So I'm trying to make it thick, even though that's so not my preference. So I might need to add like a little bit of almond milk just to loosen that up because it is looking just a touch. I would other like, I like my oats like soup. So like really, really loose. So I get that's like really weird. Leave me a comment below how you like your oats. And then of course she just like loads it up with all the goodies. So raspberries smells like a party. Cause that's when you'd have a cake pop. And I even also went out on my way to get the, uh, what's it called, protein cereal that she uses for the little crunch factor. That's what she wrote, my folks, let's see. Okay, so I would say, appearance wise, I'm gonna give this a solid six or seven out of 10. I like the color, I like the crunch, I like the different things going on. Nutrition, on point. We've got lots of complex fiber rich carbs in the oats and the cereal and the fruit, protein and the protein powder. We could add a little bit of like nut batter on top if we want to up the fats, but I would say for a post-workout meal, this is basically perfection. So let's try to get all the goodies in one big bite. That is so good. I see why she's obsessed. It is a little chalky for my taste, like kind of starts to coat my mouth. So I don't know that I could eat like a whole massive bowl, but it's tasty. All right, day four, we're gonna do Linda Sun's protein pancake. Linda Sun, she's not that special. Not even a fitness influencer, but she is addicted to pancakes. And if you guys have not tried a recipe out, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you should probably go try them out. And I'm excited about this because I like Linda Sun and I feel like she would probably have some good protein pancakes. She eats them every single day. So let's see how these, how these are. All right, first thing, got a little oilsy boilsy. So a banana. I also love adding sweetness, natural sweetness with a banana into like all my recipes. I use a lot of bananas, oats, got an eggy protein powder, baking powder, it's like a splash of almond milk, a little sprinkle, cinnamon. Let's get her going. Let's see, smells good. Mmm, nice pancake-like texture. Mm. All right, we'll do tiny little babes. Gotta love the look of pancakes when they're frying up like that. Oh, oh, very important, very important here, folks. She's got chocolate chips. Even if these don't turn out well, they're gonna be all right if there's some chocolate inside. Please, flipping gods, give me some power. Yeah, not bad. They're coming out nice. Oh, I just nicked that one. Yeah. Oh, you know when you get to the edge one and you're like, how am I going to? Maple syrup, that's what we need. OK. 
Okay, I'm gonna say that's done. Now, she'd go in there with like a serious glob of some crunchy, natural hay bee. Oh yeah. Duh. Can we get some like sexy music? Let's get it on. I didn't mean to be sensual and suggestive on that finger lick. All right, bananas. She likes lots of fruit, I know. I know you guys are gonna be like, more fruit, more berries. Well, folks, berries are out of season and they are getting really expensive. So your girl is just gonna try to keep things on budget for just a hot minute. But a little maple syrup never hurt anyone. We're Canadian, gotta support the Canadians. Presentation. I mean, Gorge, who doesn't love pancakes with peanut butter and maple syrup and fruit on top. Um, so I'm gonna give that like a <clears throat> easy eight out of 10. Not gourmet, of course, but she looks good. Nutrition, also great. We've got whole grains in there, fruit. We've got um, protein from the protein powder. We've got fats from the nut butter. Can't go wrong with this. Taste, that is delicious. Like the chocolate mm, and the crunchy peanut butter. Mm. It's been a while since I've had crunchy peanut butter. Well, that is a good solid nine or 10. I mean, really can't critique that. All right, on to the next one. Okay, recipe number five. And this time we're doing Chloe Ting's breakfast pancakes or protein pancakes. Your girl here is craving for those Japanese fluffy pancakes. So this is gonna be different, a little head to head action, but they look so different that I figured we would do both of them. And I think I got a little overzealous on the addition of the butter. So I'm just gonna take a little of that out. First things first, egg yolks and egg whites separated in two bowls. All right, let's do it. Oh, let's do the egg whites here. Very important, of course, that we don't mix egg whites and uh, egg yolk, the, uh, like the egg yolk doesn't end up into the egg white if we're trying to beat it nice and fluffy like a meringue. So separate that out, one. Now when I'm doing like a huge batch of separating egg whites and egg yolks, I would always make sure to do them like one at a time into a ramekin because if one breaks and you get one piece of yolk in your egg whites, the whole, the whole batch is gone. So that's going in. A little beet and she has beaten in almond flour and coconut flour and her recipe is all in grams. So your girl had to get this, the, the kitchen scale out this morning, which was not something I like to do on a busy morning. See, this is so thick. So hers was like super thick like that too. And she was like, you need to add a little bit of almond milk. So she did like three tablespoons of almond milk, a little bit of vanilla. <gasps> Why? This one is a labor of love, so it better be really, really, really damn good. Mmm, floofy, floofy. Look at that. Now you fold the meringue into the egg yolks. You just, that's what you do. You just fold it in. Okay, I don't know how to fold broken cheese like that. Then I don't know how to be any clearer. You take that thing that's in your head, uh -huh. and you... If you say fold in one more time... It says fold it in! Fold it in. You fold it in. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not winning any Emmys anytime soon, but I can, I can appreciate a good Canadian comedy. All right, so that looks weird, but I'm hoping the rest of it really helps to floof it up a little bit. Meanwhile, let's get our pan hot. Her egg yolk consistency was like a lot smoother, despite the fact that I even got the whisk out for it. Well, is it gonna be what it's gonna be? And Chloe, if I don't do your beautiful pancakes justice, my apologies, but I'm making seven Tam recipes today and I am hungry and I'm tired. I think it'll be okay though. I think it might just be my coconut flour is a little bit more. Oh, I didn't whisk like she did. All right, let's make a Chloe pancake. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Maybe I didn't whip my egg whites quite enough. Fair. 
no, got it close to the edge. So yeah, they're light. They're supposed to be light. I haven't messed this up quite yet. She just made bigger ones than me and that is okay. We don't need to, you know, size does not matter. I'm just ready to go in now. So we plate, honey, I'm gonna do it the way you would intend. Chloe suggests serving this with a little bit butter, a nice pat of butter on top and some berries and of course maple syrup. So that's how we roll. Ooh, nothing like that look when the butter kind of like falls off your pancakes. Okay. So what are my thoughts? So appearance, they look pretty good. I mean, I gotta say the nut butter on Linda's totally, it just gave me some really good feels. Let's just say that. Um, but I think these look great. They kind of look like cornbread patties to me, which are always fun. Nutrition wise, they're pretty great. We've got the egg whites and the eggs, and then we've got a combination of uh, coconut flour and almond flour, which are packed with fiber and protein and healthy fats and stuff like that. So that's really great. And then of course, a little maple syrup never hurt anyone. Um, definitely brings little carbs and we've got the fruit. So let's give one of these fluffies a taste. Ooh, they are fluffy. Hi, baby. Pretty good. The flavor's great. Fluffy. I think it could be more fluffy. Coconut flour is a challenging one, but I like the flavor that it adds to this. But it does require a lot more eggs because it is so dry. So yeah, I would be interested to try this with just like regular whole wheat flour or just all almond flour, just to see how that would change things. But pretty solid, cool recipe. Did take a long time to make though. Gotta say that, and dirtied a lot of bowls. Don't always love doing that. But anyways, let's move on. All right, now here is a recipe. I'm not sure if I'm excited about, but I am kind of thrilled at how easy it is. And that is Joanna's avocado wrap. Finally, the holy grail, the avocado tortilla. The love I have for this strange dish is immeasurable. And let's get into it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but of course I do want to make sure that I'm watching her tutorial to make sure I do it authentically. She cuts her avocado in a way that I am a little bit more concerned about. So, avocado. She's having it with some milk which is a lovely combination. Um, I'm just gonna do straight up because, you know, I'm trying to be fair, trying to make sure I have an appetite for my last recipe as well, for a fair judging. But she just kind of smashes this bad boy in. And really, when you think about it, it's basically just avocado toast on a slightly different vehicle, am I right? I'm not sure if she adds salt, but I honestly think that avocado without salt is really offensive. So don't offend me, throw a little salt on there. And then, we roll. We do a little rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Yeah. A little, a little clueless reference, just like that. Mm. I guess that's it, folks. All right. So, uh, my thoughts, appearance. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's a wrap with some green stuff inside. So I'm gonna give it like a three. And that's being generous, I guess. We could throw some vegetables in there to make it a little more appetizing, but I guess I get that it's supposed to be convenient, easy, straight to the point. Got it. Uh, nutrition, not bad, but we're missing the protein. I mean, literally just, um, we've got some uh, whole grain tortilla, which adds a little bit of fiber. Plus there's lots of fiber in avocado as well and those healthy fats, so that's great. This would be a good snack. Maybe not so much breakfast for me, at least. I would be pretty hangry, but let's have a tasty. I'm glad I added salt. Wouldn't have been edible otherwise. It's okay, but I feel like if I'm gonna eat a lot of avocado, she needs a good bread partner. Yeah, maybe this is like, like a four. All right, what's next? Okay, finally, day seven, breakfast seven. I am excited to get through this last one because I've been cooking breakfast all day. But this is gonna be Misfit and Nerdy's breakfast frosty smoothie. This is a chocolate smoothie, but it's mostly vegetables. I love a good frosty from Wendy's. I don't know if you guys do, but that is, that sounds like a good idea to me. So let's get this party started. Okay, so into the blender, we've got frozen sweet potato that is already cooked and then frozen, which she specifies in the recipe. We've also got some frozen cauliflower that's going in frozen zucchini 
that's going in. We have some ginger. Not sure what ginger is doing in a frosty, but I'll take it. Some collagen powder. So I guess to add some extra protein. She asked, said either like a vegan coconut yogurt or kefir yogurt. So that's what this is. I'm running out of spoons here, folks. So we are scraping the barrel, bottom of the barrel of my cutlery drawer. And then I suppose, oh, we got avocado too. Yep, she said a little, either fresh or frozen avocado. Love how convenient this frozen avocado is now. So that goes in. I think she's like half of avocado, which would be about that. The cacao, which I assume is what's gonna make it like a chocolate frosty. And then of course it has to be thick because like a frosty is like ice cream thick. So just a little bit to start and then we can add more is what she suggests. So let's do it. All right, I actually think this is a good consistency. Ooh, that's chocolatey. Look at this, mama. Okay, so, oh yeah. Mmm. Well, let's talk about this in order. So, first of all, presentation. Looks like a thick chocolate smoothie meets mousse. So that's a good thing. Second thing, nutrition. Pretty great. We've got lots of protein in here from the collagen. We've got tons of fruits and vegetables, some healthy fats in the avocado. So let's give it a full taste. Nope. Don't like it. Don't like it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Too chocolatey for me, even though I did follow exactly what she suggested, too cocoa-y and not enough sweetness to balance it out, in my opinion. If you really love like hard, fast, bitter, dark chocolate, like a good 80, 90%, you might like this. So also, I find like the ginger doesn't belong in a frosty. Texture's great, but I would throw like a banana in here or some dates or some maple syrup just to balance things out a little bit and maybe leave the ginger for like tea or something. So I'm gonna give this like, I don't wanna offend, but like a two. I wouldn't drink it. Okay, folks, seven influencers, seven breakfasts, which would be the one that I actually want to eat right now and finish up. It's hard to choose just one, especially when it's like, do I want sweet, do I want savory? But I think my personal go-to would be the avocado toast. Even though it's getting brown and it's kind of like getting a little soggy, I'd go for this one. What can I say? Everything bagel spice wins every single time. But also honorable mention, for the pancakes. Gonna have another little bite of that. Mm. And maybe this. Maybe I'll do this too. Guess you can tell I'm hungry. All right, folks, so I think what we learned today is that there are a lot of really great breakfast recipes on YouTube, really easy breakfast recipes that you could incorporate into your week as well. I think we also learned that I'm not so good at following recipe instructions and I'm really impatient as well. So great, some fun facts about Abby. Um, but of course, thank you again to Metro for sponsoring this video. If you liked it, if you wanna see more fun vlog videos like this, leave me a comment below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.